This video looks at the layout for solving algebraic equations and the process is very important that it's followed in a logical set of steps. One of the keys being that each step is kept separate and that leaves an equation which has been made simpler but it's still an equation containing the variable being found. We never write a step that doesn't include our variable. And it's important that it's done down the page in a series of logical steps. Each step is going to make our answer a little bit simpler by removing a term, brackets or a fraction. And what we do on one side, we must do on the other. And this is the order of our steps. But this has been left to another video to explain how that process works. This one is just going to look at the layout of how we do it. So we take an example, fairly simple. We've got two numbers and one variable term, so we want to get a 3 and move it across to the other side. We're going to subtract 3 from both sides. That leaves the 10x where it is. Notice it's directly below the 3 minus 3, 0, so that disappears and the 8 minus 3 is 5. Note, because I've actually written 8 minus 3, I cannot make a mistake and do 3 minus 8. It's one of the key parts of doing it this way, is it maintains the layout. Automatically means we do the subtraction in the right order. So, we now have another equation made simpler, and we want the x, so we've got to get rid of the 10. We divide through by 10 to both sides, that leaves our x and 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5 again because I've written 5 divided by 10 on the page directly I cannot accidentally type in 10 divided by 5 the layout prevents that error from being made and so we have our answer let's do it again this time we've got unknowns on both sides so we're going to group the unknowns rather than the numbers which means we're going to subtract 5x from both sides. That removes the 5x term, leaving the 15 where it was, and 8x minus 5x is 3x. Note, because I do the work with the x written in it, I cannot accidentally somehow remove it from the next step. And then we do one separate step on this new line to remove the 3 we divide through by 3 that leaves the x and I get the order of my division right 15 divided by 3 is 5 x is equal to 5 as the equations get more complicated because in this case we have two unknowns and two number terms it becomes more and more important to do it all as separate steps too much is happening to do it all on the same line. So, in this case, I'm going to choose to remove the 6x first, leaving minus 23 equals 2x minus 3. I'm going to group our number terms by adding 3, leaving minus 20 is 2x, divide through by 2, get my answer. Note, I worked down the page, leaving everything lined up exactly where it was. We have our number terms, next terms, we've removed that one and we've removed that one but they all stayed lined up down the page. Done it as four separate steps, four separate lines of the equation so that I can follow and everyone else can follow what I did and not have everything higgledy piggledy on top of itself and every step leaves an x in our equation. We never go away and go 20 minus 23 plus 3 separately. It's built in as part of the set of steps that we leave our equation true at every stage. So there we have it. A series of separate steps which make the equation simpler 
but it still contains the variable as we work down the page logically so you can follow everyone else can follow and so you don't make mistakes